Remember the medium phenomenon? That's the condition where we have this tendency to play in our safety zone, to play everything at the same tempo, at the same dynamic level. And when it comes to drum fills, it seems like many of us, we have a handful of fills that we call our own and we just keep recycling the same ones. And uh, I'd like to throw out some suggestions to maybe get the fire burning as far as coming up with new fill ideas. Okay, so here are some different ideas. How about just play a drum fill with your bass drum? Now, I'm not saying that you would ever do this, but doing this might just wake up the concept of using your foot in a drum fill. So here's what I'm talking about. I will play for two measures. Just play a simple beat, one of the tried and true seven patterns, and then I will play a two measure fill with the bass drum. Practice drum fills where you do the entire fill on the snare drum. Practice fills where you do the entire fill just on the hi-hat. Then practice fills where you just do the fills on tom-toms. <clears throat> Play fills where you start them on the floor tom. Play fills between the snare and the bass drum. Play them between the bass drum, snare, and hi-hat, which are beat fills. Then use the entire drum set, beginning the fill anywhere but the snare drum, because there's this tendency to always start fills on the snare. Play the fills with both hands together, playing flat flams with or without the bass drum. Uh, here's another suggestion, and I'll do a little bit of playing. Two things. Think in four measure phrases, play a beat for two measures. You can use the entire drum set. The first measure of the fill should be really quiet. Then the second measure of the fill should be really loud. Or, for the two measure fill, start it really quiet and then crescendo. So you go from really quiet to really loud. Here we go.
You could also practice fills where you make sure to not start the fill on the downbeat of the measure. Come in sometime after it. Another cool thing to do is since we've just been working on duple and triplet kind of fills, play one measure or two measures of a duple fill and then one or two measures of a triple fill. I won't even play a beat. I'm just going to uh, play two measures of a duple fill then two measures of a triple fill, okay? One, two, three, four. And then finally, also using the entire drum set, a final thought. Quite often what you don't play is as important as what you do play. So leave space. <clears throat> don't be afraid to not always fill up every available space, okay? So now I will play a beat for two measures and try to leave some space and sometimes lots of it. 